Steve Brown of Southwest Portland knows about cancer too well. And you're only one more scan away from your death sentence. He frequents OHSU's Night Cancer Institute. In 2009, he learned he had spindle cell sarcoma, a rare cancer in his arm that called for amputation in 2016. You see, there's no arm. Then in 2019, he was diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic lung cancer from the sarcoma. Part of his lung had to be removed last year. People like him are at much higher risk for severe COVID outcomes. So he's watching closely as Oregon's Vaccine Advisory Committee debates priority. A specific place to start. In addition to people of color, the committee is considering recommendations for Oregonians with chronic conditions. It's a group that includes almost 1.8 million people. The list is not final, but includes people with diabetes, cancer, HIV, and transplants. Because they're immunosuppressed and they're at higher risk. Groups like the American Diabetes Association and American Cancer Society are working to direct patients to vaccinations. But in Oregon, that priority does not exist yet. Others like the American Heart Association say, in particular, people with cardiovascular risk factors, heart disease, and heart attack and stroke survivors should get vaccinated as soon as possible. It's not just the lung disease. It's when it gets into the blood vessels that it causes trouble. Oregon Health Authority is reviewing how a list of conditions would be enforced and what counts. The chronic conditions that are specific to COVID. If you go four years for the sarcoma, it's pretty good. Steve Brown is now on a decade of survival but knows his time is limited. He's over 65, so he could get the vaccine before younger people with other serious conditions. But he knows some need it sooner. That you could have a couple months to live without fear of dying of COVID. Give people some time to enjoy life. Yeah, as much as possible. Galen Etlin, KGW News.